Examples of Supervised Machine Learning Supervised learning is one of the most common types of machine learning, where the algorithm is trained on a labeled data set. In a labeled data set, the output variable is already known for each input variable, and the algorithm learns to map inputs to outputs based on this training data. Supervised learning is used because it relies on labeled training data, where each image has a known category. The model learns to associate features in the images with these predefined categories. Let's consider a supervised learning example where we predict whether an email is spam or not spam. In this case, we'll use features associated with emails to classify them into these two categories. Features, Inputs. The features of the email can include various characteristics like the presence of certain keywords, for example, when, free, money the sender's email address, the number of exclamation marks in the email, the length of the email, number of words or characters, whether it contains specific patterns like dear, name, or click here, label, output. The label indicates whether the email is spam or not spam or ham. This is a binary classification problem. Let's illustrate this with a simplified diagram. On the left side, we have two examples of email features, inputs. The first email has certain keywords, an unknown sender, multiple exclamation marks, a longer length, and a specific pattern. The second email has different characteristics. In the middle, we have the model, our supervised learning algorithm. It takes these features as input and learns to make predictions. On the right side, we have the output, which is the label or prediction. For the first email, the model predicts spam, and for the second email, it predicts not spam or ham. Supervised learning in this case helps us build a model that learns the relationship between the email features and the labels, spam or not spam. Once trained, the model can automatically classify new, unseen emails as spam or not spam based on their characteristics. Let's explore another supervised learning example where we predict whether a student will pass or fail an exam based on two features. Features, inputs. 1. The number of hours a student studied. 2. The number of hours a student slept. Label, output. Whether the student passed or failed the exam. Let's create a diagram to illustrate this. On the left side, we have two examples of student features, inputs. The first student studied for four hours and slept for seven hours. The second student studied for two hours and slept for five hours. In the middle, we have the model, our supervised learning algorithm. It takes these features as input and learns to predict whether a student will pass or fail the exam. On the right side, we have the output, which is the label or prediction. For the first student, the model predicts pass, and for the second student, it predicts fail. Supervised learning in this example helps us build a model that understands the relationship between the hours studied, hours slept, and the outcome, pass or fail. Once trained, the model can predict whether a new student will pass or fail the exam based on their study and sleep patterns. Another example of supervised learning. Problem. Predicting whether a credit card transaction is fraudulent or legitimate based on transaction details. Features, Inputs 1. Transaction Amount The amount of money involved in the transaction 2. Merchant Category The type of merchant where the transaction occurred, for example, grocery store, online retailer 3. Time of Day The time when the transaction took place, for example, morning, afternoon, evening 4. Location The location where the transaction occurred, for example, city, country Label, output, whether the transaction is classified as fraudulent, fraud, or legitimate, legit. Here's a diagram to illustrate this. On the left side, we have two examples of transaction features, inputs. The first transaction has a relatively small amount, is from a grocery store, occurred in the morning, and took place in New York, USA. The second transaction has a larger amount, is from an online retailer occurred in the evening, and the location is unknown. In the middle, we have the model, our supervised learning algorithm. 
It takes these transaction details as input and learns to predict whether the transaction is classified as fraudulent, fraud, or legitimate, legit, based on the transaction features. On the right side, we have the output, which is the label or prediction. For the first transaction, the model predicts legit, and for the second transaction, it predicts fraud. In this example, supervised learning helps us build a model that understands the relationship between transaction details and the likelihood of a transaction being fraudulent. The model can then classify new transactions as fraudulent or legitimate based on their features. Thanks for watching. If you like the tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future tutorials.